welcome to the RPG Blender, where we give lesser played games or forgotten settings the roll of the dice they deserve. I'm your host, Game Master George, thrilled to welcome you to the next chapter in our adventure. Our heroes have made their way to the Caldera, where sits the final piece of the puzzle. But can they defeat the Guardians? Find out as we explore a new land of power and ancient secrets in Exalted Reluctant Guardians. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so you begin making your way across the bridge, and eventually you set foot on the islet. And once you do, you see ember eyes begin to materialize between you and the tapestry as the wolf appears from sul from the sulfurous smoke of the lava. A moment later, while it is still forming, five more sets of eyes appear and form smaller bodies around you, behind you, on the rocky paths. That's good. Join battle. Oh, all right. Not even a chance to talk. We're just going nope. right into it. No, nope. but we're just in it. This is we'll happening. If you want to talk, do it while punching. Can uh, join battle rolls explode? Yep. Oh, is wow. this is this an ambush? Uh, yes, I will count this as an ambush. Yeah! <laughs> That's going to be worse for you, but okay. Special no, uh, tea, wait, baby. Wait, no, it doesn't have to be an ambush. No, it's, we knew that there was going to be a smoky monster. We expected this, right? I mean... No, no, no. Let it be an ambush. He needs this. No, that's worse for us. That's worse for us. He just said it was worse for us. Taking no, it's better for him, though. Special tea. <laughs> Uh, I got one. Uh, George, remind me again. I'm sorry. Every time I ask this, uh, <laughs> fleet of foot, fast reflexes, danger sense. What, I think one which... of them gives you a plus one. I don't remember which one. It's just a plus one to join battle. Okay. Uh, wait. No. Does it? Do they even? I don't know. Look up your stuff uh, in the playing book. cards as initiative trackers. Sorry. All right. So strings. You have a four with yep. your one plus three. Who else is ready? I got. I rolled four successes. Okay, so that puts you to a seven for our listeners, Rich. Oh, sorry. Uh, I got a four, <laughs> a ten, and an eight, and an eight. Okay, so that puts you also to a seven. And while Greg is looking up his stuff in the book that he should still have, I hope. Yeah, it's t every time I click on it, it takes like a bajillion years to load. Yeah, because it is a huge book. So yeah. just bear with me. Sorry, this can all be edited no, out fine. in post, um, yep. or we can listen to strings singing. Yeah, his George song can edit all this out in post about his. Uh, <laughs> His horse. <laughs> It's not Sorry, like he's George. raising a kid and look at my as a job. Horse. My horse is That's in the Stop talking. You're making it harder for him to find them the big empty spaces. No, 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 no. I no. automatically edit out all the big empty spaces. So yes, he is making it harder because that means it doesn't get edited out automatically. But he can do it. He can edit it. So it's going to get edited and we'll be fine. Just George. Hey, future George. Future George. Hey, 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 hey. Cut us back in right now. Now. <laughs> Did I mess that up? Should we? Uh, well, now now there was more space. So it's oh, now. Sorry. Yeah, actually, here, here, I'll, I'll do Oh, oh fuck, we're still talking. Yeah, okay. Wait, uh, clap when I say now. And we have to do it exactly at the it? same time, otherwise it's not it's... gonna work. Okay, so three. Okay. Sorry, let's give it a Sorry, yeah, yeah, five. I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah. Four. Okay. Three, yeah. two, one. Now. Oh, oh, oh shit. I, okay, okay, we'll try it again. We'll I'll start from seven this time. Captain. Seven. You guys six, really want us to kill him with five. Aquamarine. Like you guys are determined <laughs> to die to Aquamarine. Like <laughs> I want, I want the wolf's name to be Aquamarine. <laughs> this can all be over as soon as Greg finds what he needs. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm pressing control F and it's not showing up. So now I'm, just, I'm scrolling right. until I have to load the pages. I, I'm fired. What about the bookmarks? You can bookmark in a PDF. There are bookmarks in that PDF. Yes, I think there are. Yeah. Also, if you're just go to the index, you can find merits. Yeah, you can find it much easier. And then all right, I found find it. the page merits. No, I'm, I'm, I'm scrolling. Reflexes George. on 161. It's on page 161. Buddy. Quick, George has his book. Go quick. <laughs> One additional on. die and join battle rolls yep, from baby. fast reflexes. Whoosh. And make these notes. <laughs> For the love of God! <laughs> Trying to make a cheat sheet. I mean, I do. Have the I, 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 it just it just loaded. It just loaded. I just book. want. I want. Yeah. Yeah. I want the. Uh, and the George, the oh, I heard my wrist picking the wrist. up that book. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and for my benefit, what else is the join battle roll? Is it dexterity? Wits awareness. Or, oh, wits, oh, right, wits awareness. Wits awareness. So that's six plus uh, one. So I just rolled I mean, seven. It's in half, isn't it? Or is it just wits? No, no, no. That, it's just wits awareness. Oh, mm, sad. Seven, seven d ten. Join battle. Did you divide your number? Ten. Please give me a good roll. Did you not roll it? Did you just divide it in half and give me the number? No, no, no. I <laughs> I divided it and then rolled what I divided. Uh, and you st uh, uh. I've been doing that too. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I rolled 7d10 this, this session, I got a 7. The second time I rolled a 7d10, I got a 1. So, <laughs> law of averages. Not a botch, right? There it is. How many no botch, no get? botch. It's just the 1. Just the 1. So, 1 plus 3, I guess I have a 4. 
Atta boy. Okay. Then first up, Fucking our Deerum and Smiling Mountain at seven. Oh, shoot. Uh, okay. You see a wolf emanation at short range and a pack of wolves at medium. I'm going to guess that the pack of wolves, they're not individual enemies. Are they some kind of group? They are a battle group, yes. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Is it? No, it's awful. I hate battle groups. <laughs> um, however, we have seen the danger of battle groups, so we are going to immediately try and deal with the wolves. Uh, Dirum will will pull his his uh, dragon's eye wand off of his back and uh, and and give Smiling Mountain a knowing nod as he starts closing the gap on the on the wolf pack. How far are they? The wolf pack is at medium range. And the initiative tracker is the CT. <laughs> Thanks for announcing um, it out loud. <laughs> you're welcome. So George, I'm moving one range band closer to the uh, to the wolf pack. Okay. And then uh, Derem is sort of assessing what uh, Smiling Mountains like like battle uh, action is going to be. Like if he looks like he's in a charging stance, if he is reaching for things to throw, uh, yeah. uh, and if that's the case. Uh, he's pretty much like looking to skirt in front of Smiling Mountain and just take a quick knee and and shoulder the dragon Saiwan and just <laughs> just start gouting a flame all over the wolf pack just in like almost a a uh, like a fouling formation just just to nice. cover as much as possible with with fire. Okay, you can so, have a two uh, dot stun. Is is a uh, Deerum kind of like a, as uh, Smiling Mountain reaches for the uh, chakram and Deerum then goes like down at more of like a medium range. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Smiling Mountain will uh, kind of take his cue from that and then do like a spinning shot put throw and his foot will slam down loudly almost like right next to Deerum's uh, like body crunching the earth beneath it as he like lets go of the chakram. Okay, you can have a two dot stunt as well. Yeah, I'm gonna need it because it's throwing time. Are you moving to closer to this, it? Buddy. Yeah, I'm moving, to the, I'm moving the same thing. I'm moving medium band. I believe uh, I'm, right by. I'm right behind. Uh, so you're bringing, you know. so you're both bringing the wolf pack to short. Yes. Cool. Or, or I am at least. I don't know if he is yeah i am i don't want there to leave go. you, there you, go. There you uh, go. okay well, it seems it seems i know that it technically has no difference but it seems mean <laughs> okay give me your rolls and uh, when you start glowing how many motes spent do you start just like glowing every five from your peripheral every you move up one peripheral. thing uh yeah yeah okay. you move because up i do thing. not know how this math is done it is my score in it which is nothing and then dexterity yes uh, yes plus the weapons accurate mm -hmm. yeah. well could be worse it could be oh uh also Remember, you, since you are wielding this, you made that join battle roll, so your anima banner progresses one level. Oh, so you now have your thing I'm... on your forehead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. this is Which the means you now ignore one point of hardness for points of for purpose of decisive blows. All right. Well, we have two tens and two successes for a total of six hit. Oof. And I have okay. ten successes. Okay. Uh, the good lord. So the wolf pack, they see the gout of flame coming at them, and they attempt to disperse, uh, getting around the flames. They're not overly successful. And then the chakram comes out and attempts to uh, hit them, trying to ricochet between them. They try to dodge and weave out of the way, but they are not quite successful. Uh, they, you have, wow. Uh, so, Mountain, you hit with a threshold of zero. Woo! And, uh... <laughs> Overwhelming, baby. Yep. And uh, also has my strength and stuff like so. It's not. Yeah. It's not bad so, Dirum, you hit with a threshold of four. Okay. Um. And do, what do they have armor? The soak is six. Okay. So I do six. Six. Oh, uh, actually, help. Hang on. Oh, never mind. Actually, because th this is the battle group, I was looking at the wrong stats. My apologies. So you actually miss uh, mountain, unfortunately. Oh. Uh, but Dirum, you do hit with a threshold of two, and its soak two. is seven. So, 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 mm -hmm. so overwhelming five. Yep. If that's what you've got, then yep. Yeah. Okay. And I'm still throwing five. I'll take five. Good <laughs> thing we got that overwhelming shit. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Yeah. These don't double. No. Two successes. Okay. Two successes as you burn them slightly with your thing. You gain your one, but since it is a battle group, you cannot steal initiative because they do not lose initiative. But you do do two points of damage. Everything is real damage then. Yes. All right. Next up, the pack. The pack rushes forward, closing the gap on as many people as possible because it is a pack, so they go for everybody. No! Uh, they are not, however, able to get to close range with either Adramalic or Strings. However, they do close the gap with Dirum and Mountain. Okay, so they charge in, they go for the strike. Uh, they're attempting to circle you and then leap out, uh, catching you from different sides as they approach and attempt to bite at your ankles. 
wolves. What do you do? Um, in seeing the wolf pack uh, drawing uh, closer, uh, hmm. Iram finishing the gout of flame uh, will then tuck his dragon sai wand under uh, one under his right arm and with his left hand deftly draw his new diclave and uh, begin uh, in a sort of whirling dervish formation, swinging it in a figure eight pattern, just in a way of giving himself more more uh, room to maneuver as he continues to sort of deftly sidestep and dodge uh, back and forth as the wolves continue to sort of dive and swarm at him. String sees him pull that thing out and goes, wow, what a cool sword. <laughs> Strings, when did you see him get a sword? Well, I, I, uh, I look, I look away a- to respond to my friend and I go, what sword? Weren't you wielding your dragon side thing? Can I not? Can I not switch? No, that's an action. What about? So this might be the only reason why I actually have this ridiculous thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, why not? We'll do that. Uh, just to clarify all of that coolness, uh, Dira tucks the dragon sai wand underneath his his right hand, uh, under his, under his right arm into his like armpit, and then uh, in a fluid motion, swipes his hand forward, and the blade on his back materializes into his hand as he begins in a whirling dervish motion, swinging through and through. As I use my charm. Call the Blade, a reflexive instant charm, Ooh. which allows me to reach a weapon within short range. So I teleport it to my hand. Cool. Sick. And, yep. just, cool. and it just begins absolutely. swinging. If you're willing to spend the motes for it, then absolutely. I will spend my one moat for a cool factor. Hell <laughs> fucking yeah. <laughs> All right. So, yep, you can have a two-dot stunt for that. Cool. So what is your parry? What? What's my parry? Yeah. I uh, As I materialize the blade into my hand, I begin swinging the, the sword in a figure-eight formation. No, 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 no. What is your parry, though? Oh, 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 I was like, oh, wait, I thought I just described it. Oh, my, my parry. Uh, yes, my parry is the following. The actual number. Uh, what is that be... number? Is it a one? Uh, is it a two? Be... Probably a three. Hoping hoping at least three. Does the plus one get added in before the divided, or is no. it just added? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Added before the divide, yes. Okay, cool. So I have a parry of four plus... Plus your two-dot stunt, two which dot gives you plus stunt. two. Plus two. So okay. it would be... F- Five then, right? Or is the is the dot added post? Uh, that's added post. Okay, so then six. Yep, six. Okay. Uh, they meet. They do not beat. Hey, so oh, damn it. Mm. They succeed with a threshold of zero. I was mm. literally going to ask you if I could have a minus one to give them a plus one, but you already no. said they meet. So now no, that's know. a specific action in combat that you can take in order to help people. Oh. Yes. So what is your soak? Uh, three. Okay. So they are rolling eight. Uh, no, no, oh, wait, no, that. total seven is, uh, total soak is seven. Sorry, three is from my armor. Okay, my then they are, seven. I forgot to add some dice, but so they are rolling six. Only slightly better than you rolled. They hit you for three damage. Three damage. Including the soak, or does the soak negate that? The soak negates dice being rolled, not damage. Oh, okay. Yep. So... Okay. It just decisive so... attack him? Holy shit. Nope. No, 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 they wither. Oh, okay. uh, so the way that battle groups work is they do withering strikes, but then once they get, if you are in crash, then their withering attacks deal lethal damage instead of withering. Oh, horrifying. Okay. Yeah, so deal with them. Whatever. Deal with them. Yep. Okay. So, so you lose just... three points. That's that's eating my initiative, right? Correct. Okay, cool. That's it. Uh, now, Mountain, what do you do? Um, just uh, taking his cue, uh, because I know that we are in the more confined area, I kind of uh, go back to back with him, and I immediately, as one of them goes for me, snatch it by the mouth and slam it into like a few others, just parrying them out of the way. Okay, give me your brawl parry. You got it. Amazing. Uh, and that was pretty cool, grabbing him by the yes, mouth, Yes, you right? can have the two dots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, what is your, uh, so what is your brawl parry? <laughs> Uh, it is naturally five plus two makes it seven. Okay. Probably my favorite aspect of this um, game is when we have and then to I will, I will hashtag actually humble brag to, uh, I, to George. <laughs> Pretty cool descriptor, right, George? Uh, uh, and I will bring it up three. by by two. Yeah, because I don't like to get bit so much. Okay, they rolled two, four, six, seven, nine. What was your total? My total is, I believe, nine, which is nine sad for me. Okay, <laughs> which so we same are thing. Very sad about. <laughs> but I need to get rid of this one because I can barely see the numbers. That's annoying. Uh, anyway, so they meet, don't beat. What is your soak? My soak. I was actually literally just looking up because I just got medium armor but I did not add it to my sheet yet, so I do apologize. I think it's five, I plus think, two is yeah, seven. Yeah, yeah, I think medium is five, and then plus your stamina. Yeah, so I believe it's uh, seven. Stamina. If I take okay. one less, I will 
So then they're 13 minus 7. They're also rolling 6 against you. Oh, and following my call the blade, my anima is starting to flare. They hit for 2 points of withering damage. All right, next up, the wolf. The wolf sees the two who struck out. Uh, only one of them actually did damage, correct? It is correct. Yes. Okay. Then the wolf closes with the one who is wielding a flamethrower and well, now a creepy sword. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, now, oh, sorry, you. I thought you meant the wolf was holding those things for a second. I was like, good, <laughs> yes. Christ! The wolf uh -oh. materializes a sword, Sif style, from Dark Souls and comes in swinging. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> uh... No, uh, it does not, sadly. Yeah. Oh. Oh, maybe so he does. Um, does he get the whole way? I don't like that. I don't like how George just said, oh, is it, he was reading an ability and understanding the how wolf, it's better. The wolf surges forward. Oh, no. It becomes almost a pulse of smoke and shadow as it moves with terrifying speed as it approaches both and then makes two attacks using its principle of motion charm. Ooh. Principle of motion? Who's this guy? Isaac Newton? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. That's not fair. Why can't he get attacked twice? That's it. Uh, because uh, there's four of you and one of them. Yeah, exactly. There's two of them. There's a big group and a wolf. And <laughs> there's the several group. thousand Wait, wolves. what? No, wait, hold on. Numbers are not adding up here. <laughs> there's not just two of them and four of us. There's like 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 seven of them. Right. Right. Thing. Let's so the smoke, the smoke dematerializes. The materializes next to you, lashing out with uh, with its jaws from the substance of smoke. Oh. What do you do? Uh, that's a great question, George. That's a great question. <laughs> Um, okay, so Dirum in uh, sort of batting away the wolves that are starting to nip at him and whatnot, his armor taking most of the brunt, but him starting to show some, some, uh, uh, I guess, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Some exhaustion, I guess. He's starting to feel, starting to feel the press. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, sees the uh, sees the wolf bearing down with its with its teeth and uh, brings up the diclave, uh, the flat of its blade facing it, uh, and then uh, very deftly moves to. Uh, uh, use its momentum uh, on one end of it to push him forward so he then swings the the pommel of it into the side of the head knocking it to the side okay cool you can have a two dot stunt for your parry however you have been attacked once prior us and you have not gotten to go yet so reduce your defense pool by one because of onslaught penalties mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that will be uh, so would that reduce the total or would that reduce total my, okay so then it goes from six to a five okay they roll two three four Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that hits. Okay, hits with a threshold of three. The good news is that these that the single guy actually has worse stats than the battle group. Well, uh, I'm glad so... we went for the right thing then. <laughs> <laughs> well, the battle group. So the way the battle groups work is they gain bonuses based on whatever they are built off of. Mm -hmm. So because these are this is a battle group of these guys, basically, they get a bonus due to their magnitude to his stats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting way of handling it. Uh, so your soak is seven, I believe. Yes. Okay. So uh, three, 14, minus seven so seven dice see that is not bad oh oh that is better okay i saw lots of fives but then i saw the nines down at the bottom yeah. so he hits you for five points of initiative damage ow oh god at I'm which crashing. point what oh you do you do you actually crash it crashes I, yeah uh -oh. wasn't i at eight and then right eight to three and then okay i gained one from zero them. i started with seven right as the jaws come out lashing out at you uh the smoke itself begins to erupt from the ground entangling your legs rendering you incapable of moving from that spot until you take a miscellaneous difficulty three strength plus athletics action to break free Ugh. that happens oh, if they great. deal five or more damage on any attack okay so this is for any of the, the group no just the... just him just him okay yeah uh all right so... all righty all right 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 on that right on you well, just... well that won't be hard for you to get out of initiative crash at least but that does put him very high on initiative okay next up adramalic all right. Well, uh, Adramalik, uh, sees these smoky dog creatures come up, and he kind of, like, dejectedly shakes his head and says, Ah, I hate to have to put down a dog. <laughs> uh, and rushes forward across the rest of the bridge and dives into, uh, a flurry as he's spinning through the air, uh, kind of like a Beyblade, and, like, lands on the big dog, uh, and, uh, he's gonna strike it, I th I, right? I think I can move close enough to, uh... Yep. Uh, which one are you going for? I'm going for the big, the big dog. Not I'm gonna, not the battle group. You're going for the main guy. I'm gonna engage the big, the main, the main dog because okay. I have a hunch that maybe dealing with that will get rid of the battle group as well. I could be wrong, but who knows? So he can't decisive. 
you know, he doesn't have the initiative, so. That's, That's true. true. I'm gonna cut him down to size. Uh, so I am going to make a withering attack, which okay. means I will take my five dexterity plus my five melee with proficiency in daggers, so that's 11, and I'll add that to my accuracy, mm -hmm. which is five because of my new shiny mm -hmm. weapons, so that's mm -hmm. 16, and then plus I your two dot stun. add the two dot stunts, so that's 18, uh, plus an automatic one, and that is uh, type, 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 type. The, the wolf will see you coming, see you leaping, and attempt to dematerialize into smoke and evade your blow. Okay, wait. Make sure I'm doing this right. A lot of dice you throw in there. All right, so yeah, five. 11, we know who the damage guy is. Sixteen. Your assassin. 18, <laughs> Eighteen. Okay, and then I get one automatic success. Okay, so that's ten plus my one automatic success. So eleven successes. Eleven successes. Woof. Nice. Okay, you success. You succeed with a threshold of five. Uh, and as you come through, you can feel that it's hard to find purchase on it, mm, like mm, because mm. it's mostly made out of smoke. Right. Right. Too bad uh, I have magic weapons that have overwhelming that's true uh, uh, because it raises its soak by force this well actually it might still be better so its soak is going to be 10 but you had such a large threshold it might not you might over overcome your overwhelming what's I your damage know. uh i have 10 for damage plus your strength plus the threshold oh god what right 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 uh so what was the threshold you rolled how many successes i uh i can check that in the box i got 11 successes okay your threshold was five so threshold of five plus my damage which is 10 15 plus my strength strength which is three so 18 18 18 minus, minus uh, it's 10 so, so that's so eight. eight so i am higher than my four mm -hmm. one, right so yep. i would roll eight dice for my you withering all right roll exalted it. eight d10 withering give me that initiative oh i don't like the look of that yeah that's not a good sound ah uh, what'd you get you pulled uh, an old mountain you did i'm uh, i'm looking at my for the charms class. real quick just to see if i can do anything to charm this bad boy up or <laughs> see uh nope okay that's a uh, dodge charm dodge charm pickpocket charm uh dodge charm dodge charm turns out uh, he's filibustering <laughs> putting all my dodge all my boats in the dodge oh god oh my, okay yeah no i got a one i got one success okay one success you reduce this initiative by one you increase yours by two all right that's the second time i've rolled like seven plus die and got a one in this it's session I honestly, on damage dice, it's just what happens. Yep. S strings, you're up. Okay, so uh, this thing didn't dematerialize, right? No, it's still there. Okay, good. So I don't have to use my weird it's just, it's just sea smoky. stuff that isn't their yeah. ability. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna see this thing. I'm gonna pull back my bow, uh, my new bow, uh, and just for flavor, I know I don't need to do this yet, but I'm gonna because I want to. Um, I am going to pull back, uh, and as my eyes start to go golden, they start to take on this like ghostly kind of color to them as well. As again, mm -hmm. I'm pulling back my bowstring with nothing in it, but as I do, uh, an arrow starts to materialize in it as I use my phantom arrow technique where I do not have to use ammunition <laughs> ever just because it's fun. Yep. Uh, and uh, I figure, you know, if I'm fighting a magic wolf, I'm going to use magic arrows. Um, uh, and I'm going to look at this thing and I'm going to go, bad dog. Uh, and I'm going to fire <laughs> at the smoke wolf. Okay, you can have your two dot stunt. It's sick. Uh, so that's two dot stunt plus all my cool shit, uh, which with my new bow is many, many dice. Mm -hmm. So... Let's see it. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good lord. Nine successes. Okay, and were you attacking the pack or the big the smoke big boy? Wolf. I'm going for smoke wolf. Big big wolf. Okay. Yeah. So that was how many successes? Nine. Okay. Uh it oh, plus my one automatic ten. Okay. So it is still reeling from the f shock of the blades piercing it, but it will attempt to writhe out of the way of your uh, attacks. That was 10. You succeed with a threshold of five. I'll take it. So five plus uh, 12 damage with the weapon mm -hmm. is 17. 17. And its soak is currently nine now. Okay. So that's six, uh, eight uh, damage. Eight. Yeah. I will roll these eight dice. Okay. Uh, one, two. <laughs> Two. Oh my goodness. Not our night, bud. All right. That sounds like our night. Seven, however. Yeah. Sounds exactly like our night. <laughs> yeah. Brings me up to seven. Okie dokie. Right. 
Well, at least we go before this thing now. I hope no. It, it. No, I, no, I, I hope it attacks crashed. me. I mean, I'm the one who's right next to it and just damaged it. So hopefully it goes after me. That's all I can say. The wolf goes because it has 12. Still. Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, all right. Seems right. The wolf looks around. It then arches its back and lets out a piercing howl. Oh, that can't be good. Which like does it. nothing. It's just angry. Right. <gasps> just an odd. As it thing. does, the substance of the dream is rent as the weight of centuries of anguish pour through the dream and begin to crush upon each of you. <sighs> this is a withering attack that fine. strikes every uh, enemy within medium range. Cool. Okay. We're close. So. George, I know I ask this all the time, <laughs> but this isn't a wild thing, right? This isn't no. Wilds or things. No. Just check. So okay. what do you do? What do each I, of you do? You, we'll go one at a time. I'll let everyone else go first. I'm reading something. Okay. It, it's a blast that emanates from it, or is it just like a, a kind of like this gravitational weight weighing down? It's like us? a gravitational wave of crushing anguish. Um, Smiling Mountain will stand a little bit taller, and he'll rub the bracer that he made from that lady's veil. Um, and he just kind of narrows uh, his eyes and sa says, you're in pain. I will free you from this pain. Okay. So what do you actually do? Do you like dodge? Do you parry? No, I'm just like trying? standing under the weight of it. So I guess oh. that would be a parry. Like I'm just doing like a pair. I'm trying to force it off of me, but it's all around. Yeah. So I can't <laughs> really be like, I could chaw karate chop it out of the air. <laughs> you can, you're an anime character. I can, but it's all around. So that doesn't make sense. So I'm just, I'm using, I'm using my unarmed, but I'm just okay, pushing give me your it. Brawl. I'm like, mm. Give me your brawl parry. If it would have been a sound wave, then yeah, but it didn't sound like a sound wave. <laughs> It starts as a sound wave and then turns into yeah gravity depression. attack. So gravity attacks we do. Um, so right. I'm also going to pump two more into it. Uh, so we're going to three, the same four, five, as six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Not not uh, yes, twelve. Twelve well, successes. I did nine again. So <laughs> okay, so it hits you with threshold of three. Uh, what and your soak is seven. You said yes. So it is rolling nine dice of damage. Oh one. Oh, For this yikes. withering strike. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, I'm probably gonna three. use some things. It, I uses, will never it hits die. you with three damage. All right, I am gonna use my uh, charm that reduces that by two. Doesn't it reduce the raw, as in the dice, not the? Did we learn that already? Yes, we did. Thank you. Uh -oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay. Remember your. Remember your. Hey, that's, I, I'll take the L. I, I should have. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Uh, so who's next? I'll go. Nice and the easy. Attack. You know, um, Dira being bombarded by a cacophony of wolfish attacks, um, and <laughs> feeling this source of um, pressure emanating from, I guess, above, and then just weighing down on them, mm -hmm. uh, instinctually, and and in an attempt to sort of further test the capabilities of his new blade, will just did one foul swoop attempt to put all of his might into a swing to try and pierce through through the uh the weight of it and attempt to sort of divide the the force that is beginning to envelop it okay and two dot stunt for your uh parry uh, fat six again but i've been overwhelmed twice now so that goes down to four. Oh yeah yeah I'm oh yeah your boy Durham's really getting it <laughs> uh did not roll as well against you that's okay i, I have a four <laughs> and he barely beats it he beats it by one there we go yikes five successes on his 15 dice enjoy that initiative crash <laughs> you're already crashed jumpy he, he gets no initiative exactly from it. enjoy it enjoy but he does it. get to bring you lower what is your soak seven seven yes okay so he's rolling five against you for no damage hey two two five five six I <laughs> love to see it, ladies and germs. It's about, it's about time we get a taste. <laughs> he does, however, get his automatic one. Oh, good. Who's next? Uh, you said this is a wave of anguish, right? Yes, that is correct. Uh, I uh, starting to feel the trembles of this, like as it's as just the sort of the flotsam of this wave reaches me before the the heft of it. Uh, uh, my eyes are gonna go rose colored again, and I'm gonna draw back my bow, um, and I'm going to try to fire an arrow of pure like courage through the anguish uh, hmm. to try to sever it uh, as it's attacking me with an emotion and like a, a feeling overall. I'm going to try to counter that. I like that a lot. That's pretty really good. That I, is really good. Nice. Thank you. I, I, I love this bow. This is this is really it's fucking coolest, cool. Yeah. It's a very cool bow. Cool bow. <laughs> I almost took a fucking boomerang. <laughs> yeah, you did. Good call. Uh, okay, I'm going to give you the three dot stunt for that. Hey, hey buddy. Thank you. Nice. So what is that? Yeah. I've never actually had one of these before. It's three extra dice 
dice and you well, one it's, success. It's, it's just a static plus three because this is not a rolled thing. So oh, it's plus three to your great. archery parry. Okay. Uh, my parry is only And you get two. one extra experience point. Wait, archery parry. Yes. What it's does... not something you would normally be able to do. That dude, that might be better for me. Yeah, what is that? What's the is. math on that? So Six archery plus, plus dexterity. Yeah. Oh, uh, that doubles my parry. So divided now it's by a two. four. Divided by yeah, two. Yeah, no, it would, be, it would be a nine. So now it's a okay. four. No, and then that becomes a seven. Five. It rounds up, so it's five. So yep. So it becomes an eight. Woo! I feel yeah. real good about that. Yeah, that's a good. And that's you can a good beef. And you can right beef there. it up if you want. That is true. You could Damn. spend most. It's two, to make it it costs higher. two per, but you can beef it up. So if you spend four, you get two. Yeah, I might do that just to bring it up to a ten. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that. Yeah, my eyes go gold, and I like blast this arrow of courage into the anguish. Let's see what happens. Mm. Really hoping and they rolled nine. How? Oh! <laughs> Get that was the correct like cinematic moment for tonight. Darkness explodes around this mm -hmm. like pink rose-colored energy coming off of strings, and he's just cackling as he's just like, "Ha ah, ha, it worked! <laughs> <laughs> That's great!" I never stopped smoking my pipe. I don't think Amazing. I was ready for fighting, so I'm just like smoking, and there's this like wave of darkness around me, and he's just so happy. Uh... I love the cinematic, oh, like, cool guy moment, but it's your first cool guy moment, so you're surrounded by all your vestigial <laughs> pedals, and you're like, I did it! <laughs> no, for real, though, just, like, there's there's definitely, like, the cherry blossoms and petals falling and all that stuff, and I'm just like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> All right, Adramalik, I'm your turn. Uh, so as this cascade of darkness uh, is exploding with, uh, cr like, golden light and pe petals of rose and, like, like pink mm -hmm. energy is, like, flashing over there, uh, as the the wave comes crashing towards Adramalik, uh, he sort of winks and then slips into the shadows and seeps into the fissures of the world, disappearing in an instant as he uses his seven shadow evasion to dodge one attack without any contest automatically uh, okay once Woo! per scene also as part of that here we go let's get into all my permanent effects oh, God. <laughs> uh, when successfully dodging an attack force an enemy to lose one initiative per one rolled in the attack result uh, I could do that also I think I automatically you automatic if I yeah if I dodge an attack you lose one initiative and now I also start my uh, refinement of flowing shadow technique which is after I've successfully dodged I start gaining initiative every Every round until I don't dodge, uh, until I get hit, rather. Um, okay. So, so yeah. So uh, so he yeah. loses one initiative. There's no contest, so he doesn't actually roll it. To, to oh, is that how that works? Thing. Oh, okay. The other thing, whatever. But you still you take one initiative from him. You gain one initiative. Cool. cool so cool. that puts hit. Hey, you know what? That helps. <laughs> I'm trying to do. It. I'm trying to help here, buddy. <laughs> All right. That's it for them. Next up, Adramalic and Strings. Cool. Uh, so would I oh, now gain the buddy. initiative from the refinement of flowing shadows? Uh, I gave it to you already. You're at seven. Oh, okay. Do That's I get why the... you're acting at the same time. Okay, but I also, my force, my force stealing feint, I automatically, he loses one initiative if I dodge an attack. Yeah, and then he would also that. lose initiative for all ones and twos, but that he didn't roll, so that yep. doesn't happen. I already took it away from him. I already oh, took okay, one cool. away. Nice, yep. nice, nice, uh, nice. I kind of, I'm still surrounded by like this glowing pink energy and these like uh, ethereal um, uh, cherry blossoms. And I look over at Andrew Malik and I'm just like, come on, uh, can we do some cool tag team shit? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, how, how, mechanically can we best do that uh like however the fuck you want man this yeah. is exalted I think start with the rule of cool and then we'll figure it rule out of right? cool. mm -hmm. I, I, mean... I literally just like stepped sideways and then it disappeared and fizzled like like into into, sh into the shadows and, and it like seeped into the cracks in the ground and then sprang back up after the shockwave like went past me so like i can yeah, fucking like whatever you want to do man i'm here for sick it as hell. somebody I'm started up between like uh a, like you know well, us going do don't yeah. super do. omni attack on it or yeah yeah trying mm -hmm. to make this wolf desperately afraid of you someone better start narrating Sh that and damn you, cool you shoot that bitch and as you shoot your arrow of like like golden light like the darkness that the light creates like i yeah. will like like no i want to like, i want to set you up for this i want to yeah, yeah, i want to yeah, set yeah. you up for like the big the big bring down um so uh i'm gonna turn to andrew malik i'm gonna be like I'll open him up for you. Get him! Uh, and I'm going to pull back on my bow. Again, I'm going to do phantom arrow technique, so I'm going to spend some motes there. And uh, I'm just going to take another shot at this thing. I'm uh, making as much noise and trying to glow as big as I can. It's just like, you can't hit me, but I'm going to hit you again. Uh, and I'm going <laughs> to go for the dog. Okay. Are you doing decisive or uh, uh, withering? Oh, can I actually? Wither. Is it low enough that I can decisively? Yeah, know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wither. I want happening. Andrew Malik to try to go for decisive if I can get it low enough. We'll see. Hopefully. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, 
its initiative doesn't matter for that for that's decisive. right it's, it's hardness but you mm. don't know yeah it's how high yours is and it's hardness that matters i only have seven mm -hmm. so no i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to hit it a little bit harder first all right uh and also only have seven. it sees your glowing burst of energy and it will focus on it and attempt to drive its shadow forward to combat the glowing golden energy okie dokie oh my god so far so good you're looking for five. Five successes? Yes, that's a C fence uh, right now. Five. Okay, well, I'm already at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I have seven more dice to roll. Holy Jesus. <laughs> Nine, 10, 11. Oh my God, these tens. And then two more dice. Uh, no successes there, so that's 11. 11. So you succeed with a threshold of six. Oh yeah. What um, is your total damage? That's gonna be six plus 12, 18. Okay. Minus its soak of up, 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 up. its soak of ten right now. It's uh, so eight. that is eight. Did last time. Come on. Uh, much better than last time. That's four successes this time. All right. You drop it down by four. Raise yourself by five. Yep. Nice. Adramalic. Uh, we Doing probably want to crash this. this thing before attacking it. That's what because, I'm thinking. Yeah, but next yeah. time I can go for decisive. I have hella initiative so right I'm now. So I'm going to also make a withering strike against this creature. Um, uh, so as Adramalic uh, rematerializes from the cracks and fissures of the uh, the basalts beneath them, um, uh, he emerges as a dark shadow, having only spent four motes. Uh, so I don't actually start glowing, right? I have to spend five right correct okay but uh i am now uh because my first strike i didn't add moats to it and i, I realized that the was first a level only makes your thing appear on your forehead right uh but that's in i can spend up to my total amount of dice that i could roll minus the stun mm -hmm. correct correct so once i could because my attack is uh 16 i could spend up to 16 correct You're right. sorry it's your skill plus your uh stat it does not include the accuracy yeah. oh the sorry okay okay so it would be 11 i could spend up to 11 modes Mm, Where's that? How do you have, you have a max of 10? Oh, right, your specialty. Yeah, right? Specialty. Yeah, my specialty. Oh, my okay. specialty. Would the specialty also be included or no? Uh, yeah. Oh, awesome. Okay. So, yeah, that would be 11 that you could spend. Yeah, so as uh, Strings blasts him with this blinding glare of light and its attention is diverted, um, uh, Adramalik will spring up from underneath the cracks and just, like, launch into the air above it uh, like a shadow and just descend, plummeting towards the ground. And as he does so, uh, he, like, sort of starts spinning like a cyclone uh like and he drops one of the daggers as he's spinning and catches it with his foot so he has one dagger held in his hands and he's holding it with both hands and one dagger held with both feet as he literally is like a spinning like knife blade uh and he plummets down into this creature's back uh attacking it uh from the rear uh, let's see what it does all right spinning monkey man yep. <laughs> That's me. That's my That's name. Accurate. Do I get a two yep. dot stun for that bad boy? I'll give you a three. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh yeah. You're really leaning into the spin, which I like. Yeah. 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 Spin is his move. Okay. So it it's driving its shadow forward, and as it does, it sees your shadow approaching from behind, and it will attempt to writhe out of the way of it. Mm, writhing is so a three dot. That's uh, two dice and two auto successes. Okay. So and its evasion have... was higher than its parry, so it is still a five for oh, you. God. Oh God. All right. I'm sorry again. This is my math brain 11 <laughs> times 2 because I'm spending 11 motes to double those dice so that's 22 mm -hmm. plus the accuracy of my weapon which is 5 so that's 27 plus yep. the 2 from my 2 dot stun so 29 and then mm -hmm. plus 2 auto successes is oh my god that's so many dice oh it's oh 24 my, oh yeah good it's lord 24. dude is it a 24 <laughs> no that's a 25 no 22 plus 2 on 22 plus oh two. I thought it was 3 for yeah. some reason I'm done no Norman. so Norman. 24 which means you succeed Succeed by 18. That was a okay out of a 29 rolling a 22. I've never. <laughs> I see uh, stupid. seven tens in there, At so least, that's yeah. what that is from. Oh my that's, god, that's pretty gross. Damn okay, it. so you succeed Damn by it. 18. Okay, so it'd be 10 damage plus 18. Oh, wait, hang on, so, wait, 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 hang on. Oh, minus really the go. soak. Right, we got to minus the soak. Sorry. Oh, sorry. 19. 19. Oh, so my my threshold is 19. Yes, your threshold is 19. Plus your so 19 plus. 10 damage, right? I'm not, I'm not fucking this up. 19 plus 10, that's 29. 29? Plus your Golly. strength. Plus my three strengths, so it's 32. 32. 32. And, uh... Minus the soak? Minus the soak of... 
What is this up right now? Nine. So you're rolling 23, 23 dice of damage against this thing. Yikes. That's a lot of damage. All right. Hmm. I mean, I hope it's a lot of damage. I hope I don't just like brick the roll again. Nice. Now, hang on, hang on. Remember oh, wait, the 10s don't tens. count twice. Right, 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 right. Okay, yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Five, I did get very excited. Six, I rolled a lot seven, of 10s eight, again. Nine, ten. That's not bad at all. That's great. Yeah, seriously. That's not a crash. I, I see four 10s. Am I, am I wrong? So I got uh, nope. so that's I count, 11. No, I counted 10, six, or you got 11? You're probably kind of wrong. Yep. I just took 15 minus the four extra, right? Yep. Yeah, so, so 11. that puts him to one. As one. you gain... <laughs> As you Son of a bitch. 13, I mean, Remember, if Deerum is to bring him into crash, then he gets the uh, initiative, super yeah. the super initiative Ooh, boost. I wanted, I wanted, I wanted, I wanted, I wanted. <laughs> Get out of, flip the crash, flip the crash. All right, next up is the pack. Uh-oh. The pack charges in, attempting again to harry all of you now that you're within closer -ish range. <laughs> now, it's a, now it's a fight. There's now no. it's a fight. Now Ooh. Deerum is the one that's in danger because he's currently in crash. And so and, let's and do we want to do him first or last? Three now? Do we first or last? Yeah. Do you want to be first or last, dear? Nah, let's put build, me last. Put me last. Build the uh, stress yeah, for that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who wants to be first? No. I'll be first, sure. Whack me. All right. Okay. What do you do? Uh, what are they doing? What are they doing? They are coming at you from all sides, harrying you, coming in for little nips at your ankles or... Well, actually, yeah, especially at your ankles since you're attacking with your feet. Yeah. Uh, so after I landed, uh, uh, like driving the dagger into it, uh, I like kind of land with the blade, like pointing pointing straight into the ground and kind of like uh, like a almost like a monk like i'm like standing with both feet uh together like on the the blade like like balancing on a pole almost mm -hmm. um and i like it out of the ground with like like a thrust of my, my legs upwards and i catch the blade with my hands and then i sort of like do this expert like dance as i weave and duck and dodge um and i use my read in the wind technique i can spend two initiative to add one evasion uh to my Myself, like my evasion. Okay. Cool. Uh, you can have a two dot stun. Cool. 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 Uh, so, how do I calculate evasion? Sorry. Again, I apologize. Uh, dexterity dodge divided by two. So that's five. Ten divided by two is five. So it would be five. Plus Ooh, two. They got plus a lot of tens one, themselves. Is... But I can spend it as many times as I want. So I'm going to keep pumping it till I'm above that. <laughs> uh, well, that is two, four, six, eight. Oh, nine, do I, wait, 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 don't tell me. Uh, okay. wait, am I not supposed to know ahead of time? Uh, let me like, read it. Yeah, can you pump wind. after? Exile draws upon her. It's a reflexive keyword uh, type. I don't know if that means anything. Draws upon her own momentum to bend and flow with opposing forces. Every two initiative spent in response to an attack, they may raise the exalt's evasion by one. Raises the cap on how much the solar mm -hmm. can exchange her evasion by essence. Uh, dodge plus five, evasion three. A successful dodge results in one moat. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I don't think I'm essence three, though. Uh, no, you're yeah, not. it says reflexive. I don't know if that means I can do it in response uh, to. What that means is that you can do it when you're being attacked. You don't need to take an action to do it. Uh, oh, so, means, oh. I'll. Sure, I'll say that you can uh, uh, do it once you know the I number. I mean, I'll burn like like uh, like eight of eight, uh, eight to get plus four. That would put me at nine. I think that's probably pretty safe. Okay. Well, that's two, four, six, eight, ten. Uh, sorry, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You're actually higher than that because your natural is five. You got a two dot stunt, which is seven, and then if you burned, you said how you burned. I burned eight, so that's plus four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's eleven. So that puts you to eleven. Ah. So it ties. Oh, uh, I have another. I have another one for that. Wait. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, <laughs> drifting leaf illusion. Page three hundred of your rule book. Successfully evade an attack with successes equal to your evasion. All right. Wow. My wind ties. Ugh, that costs go. one moat. Okay. So I spent one moat and uh, eight, eight initiative. Break, like nobody's. Eight I'm initiative. keeping my dodges, and because I haven't been hit yet, I also get an initiative. When's this my round? Okay, not yet. Okay. Okay. okay so that, that brings you down train. to twelve from your twenty, but that's still. And so they nice. lose initiative for every. They don't have initiative. Oh yeah, if they they rolled whatever they rolled, uh, any ones that they were. Also, I do steal one automatically. They did not roll any ones, but it doesn't matter because they're a battle group. They don't. No, uh, they don't, no, they don't have initiative. move in the initiative track. <laughs> Uh, anyway, who's going to follow so that fun. with all their dodge charms? It's going to be a lot easier. This is a much I'm going to shoot an arrow of courage at the wolf <laughs> and make it afraid of me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You Sounds like a three, one, three dot. Dot. <laughs> Not unlike Invincible 2, I am a one trick pony. <laughs> oh uh, boy. Um Yeah, no, this one this one unfortunately I'm less prepared for. I think as the wolf comes at me, uh for the first time in my entire life, I actually have a bow that isn't made of wood. And I feel pretty mm -hmm. confident about how structural that is. So I'm gonna try to sort of like catch the wolf's teeth in like on the bow and sort of not like overpower it, but sort of tai chi it away away from me, like use the force of its own body to kind of have it just roll past me uh, okay. as best as I can. 
Give me uh, your melee I'm, parry. Yeah, I'm That's... cool. I'm cool with taking, you know, claws. Much less cool with teeth. Uh, given that I am using my bow. No archery. Could, oh, okay. No. <laughs> so in that case, <laughs> the uh, other one you got archery because you literally. Fair, 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 fair. Am I getting cool. any uh, dots yes, for this? Yes, you can have a two dot stun for it. I appreciate you. So that's going to be four instead of a two. Okay. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, so no. that succeed by four. Okay. Uh, my soak is four. Okay. So then he just rolls his base down damage, which is 13. Oh my god. <laughs> Gonna need a lot of successes to bring me down off of my 11 initiative. True. And yet, and yet. Two. two? Nice. Two. Love it. Off love it's 13 to see dice. it. Two. You love to see it. Mm, I get a lot, hit the claw like it hits my foot and I go, oh, but I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mountain. Seeing them fail against the other two, I'm sure uh, Durham is not being nervous at all. Um, I'm I'm just used to fighting with everybody, especially with Durham. So I'm seeing him kind of get like overwhelmed, and he I can tell he's just not in a good spot as far as like his like we're aware of each other's initiative, right? Sure. Uh, at least relatively, like you're not gonna know the number, but yeah, you're I don't be able to I don't know number, but like that spot. footing rather than like anything. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like they've got you yeah. like at the edge of the precipice of the volcano, and you've got a werewolf to a lava werewolf to your right, and a and a pack of wolves to your left and i'm like oh this is bad yeah uh so just kind of uh like again just kind of stoically smiling he is like it is time for you wolves to leave um and he will almost kind of let them like get to him and get on him using his like gauntleted hands to like absorb most of the bows and then start like literally tossing them like forward and away like toward the lava okay Cool. Give me your brawl parry. That's all we know. And you got two dots. Um, that will be seven, and we are going to beef that up again to nine. They're getting tired. They only rolled six successes. <sighs> all right. Oh, Moment God. of truth. Dearum, well, the wolves I'm... are coming at you, and in your weakened state, they are coming in with lethal intent. Don't worry, Dearum, we used up all their, all of our luck, so you're just sort of stuck <laughs> now. <laughs> you're gonna be great. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so, uh, definitely breathing more heavily, um, he uh, tightens his grip on his uh, diclave, and then uh, as the wolves begin jumping at him, he's going to attempt to uh, use Use, wait, correct me if I'm wrong. We're on an island in this volcano, right? Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Final God. destination, no items. <laughs> Noted. Uh, okay, so he's going to attempt to uh, pretty much keep ducking and dodging and dancing around the wolves as they continue to dive and duck at and 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 charge at him. Mm -hmm. And as they uh, as they start getting close to him and he keeps moving towards the edge, he's going to uh, very deftly. Uh, uh, just hop off of the side of the ledge uh, and then very quickly thrust his diclave into the side and allow his momentum to swing himself and pull it back out and, and pretty much leverage himself along the side to land back on a ledge. Ideally, much farther from them and hopefully sending a whole bunch of them into the lava. Fucking okay. sick. <laughs> Give me your evasion with a... I'll give you a three-daughter for that. That's oh, pretty cool. Oh, good. Yeah, That's there you cool. go. Uh, well, obviously, I gotta, I gotta juice this because I'm in overwhelm three, so I think the 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 three dot stunt is gonna neutralize that. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see. My normal rating is a see, an eight dexterity eight. dodge divided by two. Right. So that's uh, eight divided by two, four, and my mm -hmm. diclave gives me only a one. counts for parries. Only for parries. Ooh, yep. I hate to see it. Uh, okay, so that's a four uh, with the three dot stunt, which is just three on top of that. I'm sorry. The, yeah. The, that just three dots, down, which is just more. three on top of that, which yep. neutralizes overwhelming. And then I'm gonna just throw moats. So uh, I'm gonna throw another eight into that to make it an eight. Make it an eight. Okay. And, I'm, and they rolled I'm glowing. an eight. Uh, so that hits. Ju yep, it hits. No okay. threshold successes. Okay. Uh, also, as I just looked this up, note for yourselves: the weapons defense is actually added after the divide by two. So when you parry, that ah. that will change things greatly for you guys when you parry. Noted. With my bow. Yes, with your bow. Well, your bow doesn't have a defense rating, I don't think. Ah, that explains <laughs> so... why I can't see one. Yes. Uh, anyway, so it's it just hits you. So it rolls its base damage. We saw how well it rolled before. Let's see. And at this point, I think I'm in the bonfire iconic level. Are you? Because I just spent eight moats. 
Cool. From my peripheral, which I believe. Uh, you only move one step per action, regardless of. Right. My what my happens, symbol. So. I've already sh shown my symbol, and now yep. with the eight, I'm now glowing. Right. Yep. You're not at bonfire yet. You're just so you're just you you are emitting light right now. Okay. Okay. Very well. Okay. And they hit four. Three damage. Yikes. Three lethal damage because you are in crash. So knock off three health boxes. Oh can God. I, because I believe I can do this. <laughs> I believe I can reflexively spend five motes to gain an aura of pure force, gaining five hardness for one turn as a. Uh, this is not a decisive strike. Oh. Oh, what the heck? It's such like in between. Okay. Well, uh, well, that only puts you down to the the second two. one, right? And, and hard, hardness does not actually reduce the number of dice rolled. It only increases the threshold that they need in order to get to throw dice at you. And since hardness is negated during crash, mm -hmm. it wouldn't matter anyway. Yeah, I that's why I can't understand use any of this. Crash. So I'm just gonna nod and so, take my damage. So it's like a wall, but when it gets broken through, it doesn't stop whatever broke it through. So it's either like you are fields. stopped by the wall or the wall does nothing. Okay. Okay. So you take three. Yeah, Durham gets bit a lot and now looks like he's bleeding. <gasps> no! Like profusely. <laughs> Okay, Mountain. Um, kind of uh, looking over at Deerm and seeing him hurt, uh, Mount immediately goes into bonfire phase as a uh, like bear just appears around him. And he goes, oh, so you want to see strength. And he uh, lets out a roar as two like very large uh, tiger, or not tiger, bear claws. <laughs> Uh, rent forward as he kind of charges through the pack, just slamming, eviscerating, disemboweling, like not his normal like punch I'm wrestling you, very much like grabbing jaws, ripping open, moving on to the next one kind of motions, Ooh. but in very quick succession, moving from one to the next, to the next, to the next. All right, I'll give you your three here. And uh, they are swarming around. Uh, they're only semi-material at this point, so they're kind of doing the, the hyena laugh as they dart around you yeah. and dissolving a little bit as you try to grab them, attempting to stay out of your grasp. Uh, they just went, so their, their thing has reset. Mm -hmm. So you're looking for a six. Uh, and I'm going to pump this up by... I'm just going to be keeping track of my stuff because I want to know when I'm running low on juice. Uh, so we're, so we're going to pump this up by five. By five. Okay. Roll it. Six more for this. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four. No, 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 no. no. Uh, five, two tens. And then, so that's 17. That's perfect. All right. And then the two dot gives me two more, or three dot gives me two more dice? Yep, uh, it gives you two dice and two auto successes. Okay. See how quickly this turns around? A lot of counting. Nah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> once you start using your powers. Yeah, once, you, once you're like, no, now I'm doing it, which is, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I'm almost, uh, actually, I am now out. Of I'm like reading through my powers again, and I realized I totally fucked up. I had a thing called, uh, fudge, where is it? Blinding Battle Faint, which is I can use dex and stealth for join battle, and also it acts as an attempt to enter stealth. So <laughs> I could have done that to instantly stealth into the fight. Mm, and I would have yeah. had a sneak attack on my first attack, which would have been real good. All right, so that is a total of... Just gotta bank that. Bank that for next time. Uh, 16 successes. It's it's no 22. Six. But succeed by 10. <laughs> cool. Um, and I am using my Tiger Claw technique, uh, which gives me an additional five damage after the fact. Okay, their soak is six. So you add four plus five, so add nine to whatever your normal damage is. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it for that one. And we have four more to roll. Right. Oh my god! <laughs> my heart, I can't take this. Wow. Oh, tens don't matter. Never mind. Uh, and three more tens, which means nothing in this roll. I mean, uh, it's an extra three. It is an extra right. three. Um, so what did I just say? I don't know. I think that was six. Six? I think I said plus six. Three. So seven, eight, nine. Nine total. Okay. Nine you total. begin tearing your way through the shadow pack, and as you do, they begin burning away one after another after another until the last has dissipated. The pack is no more. Nice. Yes. Easy fucking peasy. Oh, damn. Not easy. <laughs> Bleeding and <laughs> yeah. damaged. Uh, yeah. There's no rhyme for that, but. <laughs> ah, we just got one more yeah. guy. We got this. We got Speaking this. Speaking as the guy taking the damage, I just. Yeah. Zero has been <laughs> our sacrificial cool. land. Should I get one, I get one God, initiative sure, from that, right? <laughs> you do get one initiative from that. <laughs> That's the worst. <laughs>
All right, dear him. You're out. Well, we all know I have to take a chunk do out it. of this guy. Do it. Uh, do it. Do, do it, it. Son. Definitely, definitely gonna try. Reverse uh, crash him. Just uh. You only have everything. to do because if you do this, you get right? two turns. You only have to do yeah. mm -hmm. one. Oh yeah. well, it just he has to hit zero. He doesn't have to hit negative. Yeah. Just Dad. has to hit zero. Ah, it's so easy. 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 We're not all throwing <laughs> like 24 dice. Okay, I'm sorry. Was that? Uh, was oh, true. okay. Sorry. Sorry. This area is a little different from yours. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, like taking a couple of <laughs> of labeled breaths and like and like clutching the the like the gaping wound on his arm for a moment. Uh, he he seeing that mountain has has hand uh, has the wolves handled. Uh, lines his sights with the the lava wolf right it's a lava wolf or is it a shadow no it's a smoke wolf it's a smoke, smoke, wolf. The smoke wolf. wolf um but we're surrounded by lava that's what it is mm -hmm. uh and, and the smoke from the lava is like pouring into its body and Ooh. refilling uh with his with his new giant diclave just kind of like resting lazily on the ground as he's clutching his arm uh he he sort of locks eyes with the shadow wolf itself and starts slowly walking forward with the blade starting to just grind <laughs> on the stone and it starts he starts moving into a jog and then to a sprint and then he whips his hand and the blood splatters to the ground as he then tightens his grip on the blade and the sparks are flying as he's just running and the speed becomes palpable as all of a sudden the sparks are just rising and rising until he drags it through the stone and up into the gut of it question okay. craig do the sparks cover the blade so that it can't be seen at any point as you're grinding it on the ground <laughs> Uh, How was he doing that <laughs> without a sword in his hands? Good question. Good question. Good question. Uh, the answer is, by the time he is at the wolf, yes. Oh! <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is so cool. And I'm like, wait, at the very last second, is he flamethrowing from his hand? <laughs> I've right, seen you can this take a three before. You can take uh, a three dot. You only gain the XP once, however. Noted. Uh, but I am in my, I believe, negative one. So what yeah. does that mean? Oh, no, for you're at zero. Oh, no, oh. no, no, no. Because ah, I've, yeah, I've yeah. taken damage before, plus this now. That's right. No, no, I was I was looking at your... Uh, so what this does is it reduces your... Uh, let, me, let me just see if it's the dice pool or your uh, successes. I'm not sure, because this has never actually come up for, for you guys. Yeah, we're too good. We just don't get hit. You know, what can I say? I mean, I'm, really I'm, I'm a dodge man. It's time for us to start getting hit. Not actually. saying that out loud. Not saying that out loud. Um, What's the worst that could happen? I mean, I'm already in a death pact, you know? I mean, well, you know. We can, we can I'm going to stop doing things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to just start throwing dice anyway, and I'll, and you can let me know what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is how Vim made decisions. I'll say reduce the dice trim. pool by your penalty. Okay, got it. And then we'll just have you re-roll it if I find that's incorrect. <laughs> well, or I'm already roll in those it, additional so. ones if it ends up being Okay. Three dot stunt gives two dice, two successes. Two dice, two successes. Uh, thirteen successes. Whoa! Uh, I want to be out of this initiative crash. <laughs> Can you mow anything? Do you have any, like, skills? Any charms for attacking? Yeah, it's a dice penalty. It's not a static thing. Uh, but it also applies to your defenses, which we should remember in the future. Ooh. Well, yes. after uh, that last attack, I went into negative, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. So, what was your total? Uh, 13. 13. It's been attacked twice, so it's reduced by two. So, that brings it to four, so you succeed with a threshold of nine. Yes! Come on, baby! Let's so, do it! threshold plus my total damage, right? Uh, threshold plus total damage minus Minus eight. Minus eight. Oh, it's got so... eight soak. Mm -hmm. But you have, wait, you have, your sword is five uh, over, oh, or over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It does, but. Uh, You're gonna hit it, right? Well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. well, my damage is, my total damage is plus 16 on top of the threshold. Uh, oh, yeah, so. Of yeah, eight, yeah. right? So to 24 minus, what was this? What was the soak? Uh, eight. Eight, so 24. It's 16. 16. Back to 16, yeah. Back to 16. Okay, yep. throwing 16 at this guy. First eight. Okay. Five successes. All right, it activates seven shadow evasion and perfectly oh! dot. <laughs> no. <What the? laughs> I, I wouldn't blame it. I wouldn't blame it. That makes perfect sense. I mean, it is a shadow. I can't it's really fault it. I mean, it. It's yeah. It kind of it kind of has that built yeah, in. Yeah, it's also not a solar, so it doesn't get to do things like that. Ah, good. Nerd. <laughs> All right. As you drive it into initiative crash. Yeah. Reset to base three. Now roll join battle and add your successes to it, and that'll be your new initiative. 
Can I throw moats into this? Yeah. yeah. No, if yeah, you yeah, have the relative, one. if you have the relevant uh, excellency, then yes. What's the excellency that you would need for that? It'd be awareness. Um, awareness for join battle. Okay. Yeah. Or for you stealth if you choose to do your other right. Thing. If I yeah. Okay. Now no, that I know I can. I'm do not going to do it because I have no idea what else we have in store. So, mm. uh, three, three. Okay, so that puts you to six, and you get another turn. You get oh to my. act immediately. Gosh. Uh. Fuck him up. He's crashed, right? I mean. Mm -hmm. How much crash do you have now? You do it. Six. Yeah, six. That's not uh, Wait, I don't you have... get five from the... No. When you do the shift, you don't get the five. You just reset back to base and then add your bonus. And you get to go. Yes. Uh, and you get I to go. The, the second turn is the, the I kicker. I feel like I'd be ruining it for other people. Why? Because you guys have the pool. I got six. It doesn't matter. He it doesn't, doesn't reset If you chunk it a little bit, yeah. Like, yeah, we could all decisive. Can still hurt it. It could be can you all... decisive, we decisive, we, we decisive. We can omni-strike this so one. Once yeah, he's, yeah. So once he's crashed, even if I do a decisive, he's not going to reset back to three? He needs to survive three turns in crash, or... He he needs to bring himself out with withering strikes. Okay, well then screw it. Yeah, I'm definitely swinging in. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah, uh, hell yeah. I'm Spidey. That's why Crash uh, is dangerous. Uh, okay, so then um, with his uh, momentum of the slash, uh, Theorem follows through and jumps and uh, jumps a notable number of feet into the air, now turning the blade above his head and then just rides it down, cleaving into him with the die cleave. Okay, you can have the two daughter. Okay. Uh, it will see that coming and it will attempt to twist out of the way. However, at this point, it has much onslaught, so you only need... How much do you need? So that's three. So three. Okay. That's so easy. Mm -hmm. You're gonna hit that. You're gonna hit that. No big deal. Well, I do lose one Incoming. dice from my pool. All right, because you're bleeding out. Oh, you're at minus... Are you at minus one or... Mi you're at minus, minus one? one. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. No, He's staring it. hard. Is this going to no, be a repeat that, of Veil? No, no, no. That did it. I had three. I got three successes. Okay. Oh, okay. You got exactly three? I got exactly three. And I'm okay. pretty Holy sure. Holy moly. I'm pretty sure so, the thresholds don't matter at all. So. No, they don't. Yeah. Uh, so, hardness also does not matter. So, you roll your six dice of decisive Finish damage. It. Do it. Okay. Do it. Okay. Ooh, come on. Give me something good. Okay, uh, three successes. Hey, All right, that's half. Okay. That's that's the average. That's good. Yeah, that's I'll good. take you it. I'll take it. Three points of damage to him. Now he's probably at minuses. Pew, pew, pew. And you reset back to three initiative, and we go to the next round. Adramalik. I haven't been hit, so I gain one initiative. Yes, you do. And I decisive strike this bitch. Uh, yeah, Adramalik. Uh, upon seeing uh, Dirum drive his hands into this creature and and punch it in the skull, he's like, "Oh no, darling, that that won't work." Um, and rushes up. This is how you get a fish or dog. Ah, ah, and he. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Stabs it, uh, and he slides underneath the dog, raising both daggers above him as he tries to slice its belly out uh, from underneath it. Uh, let's okay. let's make that. Uh, it sees you coming. It is well overwhelmed, but it will still attempt to arch its back and drive itself out of the path of your daggers. Okay, you need so a two. I I got five decks, uh, six for melee with daggers, so it's 11, 11 plus my five accuracy, 17. Do I get a two daughter? You do. 16, sorry, 16 plus my two daughters, so now I'm at 18. 18 at 18. I don't feel like the need to spend motes on this. I feel like, because I'm only, because the excess doesn't carry over if I'm doing a decisive strike. Correct. Here. Yeah. So there's no reason, yeah, 18. So you feel like you can get two successes on 18 dice? All right, <sighs> let's, let's see this come in. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. If this yeah, happens, it will be an anomaly if you don't get two successes. Okay. On I saw a lot of twos and ones, so I got mm -hmm. a little scared for a second. No, we're good. I got a, I got a 10 plus the, the automatic success, so 11. All right. Fuck. So you hit. Roll your 13 dice of damage. All right. And I just roll 13 d10. Mm -hmm. Damage. And 10s don't explode, of course. And 10s don't explode, so that is just a 7. Oh, oh yeah, it's 7. Yikes, dude. Seven out of thirteen. Okay. I'm rolling really above average today. This is this is <laughs> Yeah, dude, you're nice. on fire. Refreshing. Does that do it's it? Honestly, it's refreshing. <laughs> that <laughs> might do it. That might do it. That must do it. That's ten. That doesn't. Yeah, it hey! does. Hey! As your blades sink into its stomach and uh, rip the creature open, the smoke begins pouring out as it looks around before it begins to lose its cohesion, dissolving into smoke, which then sinks back into the volcano. Lau, why were you trying to punch this thing? Well, what's wrong? 
wrong with you? I mean, you well, can see him holding a sword now at this moment. Ah. Yes, now you can see the sword. Yeah, so we are aware of it. Do I regain memories of the sword once I see it, or do I just have new memories? I feel yeah. like we would yeah, regain. We're like, oh, we know about this every time we see sure. it. It's, it's like the, uh, what's the thing in that one show where when you're not looking at it, you don't uh, remember, but as soon as you're looking Who, at it, you it's the, Doctor uh, Who, the silence. Yeah. The yeah. silence, that's it. Yeah. We're really referential today. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll say that Cut you regain the memories of it when you see it. Okay. <sighs> well, that was quite a thrill. <sighs> I, uh, I come over to DRM. You all right? I'll survive. Uh, is there any healing we can administer to him at all so in any it. way? Do you have any kind of healing uh, no. charms? <laughs> I have one point in medicine. With medicine, you could treat the wound and help it to heal faster naturally, not... Ah. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. Well, Honestly, time is different here, I have here, regrets right? about not taking medicine. <laughs> time, time is an illusion. I also have those. Maybe. Yeah, I will administer uh, first aid to Lao if he allows me. Uh, or Dearum, rather. But I will call him Lao as I push him. Uh, Lao, if you would like, I can, I can dress that wound for you, and we can carry on to the tapestry. Sure. And he holds his arm out. All right. Uh, Azramalik will, like, rip off, like, uh, a piece of like cloth from his uh, very very fine hood. I, uh, I, I, I and he goes into his pack and he pulls out more of those wrappings that you all have seen him continually wrap around his gauntlet. Oh, oh well, that's that's very awkward. But I appreciate the gesture. Um, here, okay. you, you can make me your intelligence medicine roll. Oh, oh boy, that's a that's a fat two. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have to try and stunt this. So, uh, <laughs> Azrabalik takes the, uh, uh the, the wrappings and, uh, he begins, uh, dexterously, uh, like, interweaving his hands in a, in a blur of shadow, uh, as he's a little glowy right now. Um, and, uh, as he does so, um, he is being very gentle with the actual wounded area, but it's very, very quick. Uh, he understands that, uh, time is of the essence in this moment. <laughs> Can you underscore it with, like, dramatic music right there from your mind? Da -da -da -da. <laughs> okay, I'll give you the two daughter just for that. Yes. There you go. That's how it's done. Yeah. Okay, so that okay. gives you a total of four dice and one auto success. Oh! Well, two tens, baby. That's a five. Nice. All right, uh, you wrap it up. It you were able to treat it. It's it's still gonna take time to heal, but there's no danger of it getting worse. There's no danger of him bleeding out. It is well cared for at this point. Thank you. Put sword away. <laughs> Azramalik gives him a nod, and next time, please, bring a weapon. Uh, I mean, it was very brave what you did, but, uh... Picks up Dragon Sai Wand. <laughs> <laughs> I will follow. He's just gonna, like, make a front holster for this sword. So it's like a baby like thing. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the baby thing. Oh, God. Okay, so... What do you do? We proceed to the tapestry. Yeah, I go assume. to the tapestry. I'm gonna yeah, like, wow, take a look at it. Yeah. yeah, follow the man who clearly knows about ancient artifacts and stuff. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I definitely want to take a closer look at it, even though I'm pretty sure I'm aware of what's going on. But to see if it evolved, if our actions uh, adjusted what looked like a very neutral but alive sort of tapestry in this weird environment. Uh, it does not look like your fight disturbed it at all. The it still looks like a skyline with some clouds that seem to be lazily drifting across the tapestry, mm. at least to your sight from far away. I'd what like to get, as we get closer. <laughs> I'd like to get a closer look. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as you get closer, the clouds begin moving faster. Okay, I will get closer. Okay. How, how close are you getting? Oh, fudge, George, why you gotta ask this question? <laughs> I would like, I would like to... I let you hang yourselves. I, I think I would like to reach out to be able to touch it, but maybe okay. I'll tell the group to, like, just wait while I do it so that I can be the the, the test subject. Let's let's do a quick rewind, shall we? Uh, why are you guys taking so long in this mount? It's such an easy skill check. <laughs> you might fall into this mount and, and painting and be lost for all time. <laughs> hey, I have not implied any such thing. Uh, you approach to within <laughs> arm's reach, and as you do, you can see that the clouds are moving faster and faster and faster as you're approaching, until it almost looks like they're zipping along the skyline. You see that sometimes it fades to darkness and then light, as it almost looks like days, weeks, maybe months or years are passing within this tapestry. And then eventually, 
As it continues through its daily cycle, the color of the sky begins to change. It first begins to take on a little bit of a reddish hue, but then it's not long before you begin to see tendrils of green pierce it from the bottom, working its way up until eventually the skyline is this deep, sickly green color. The clouds themselves turning black and then beginning to drip this almost red substance. When you are finally within arm's reach of it, the clouds stop and you see the picture begin to move. It turns and you can see what looks like a map of creation. You can see the uh, Imperial City, you can see Nexus, you can see what remains of these places. You see the shattered elemental poles on either side, and you see the fabric of creation breaking, shattering apart, fissures rent within it as this green light begins to pour from underneath. And in the center, with its hand atop the sword of creation, the ancient weapon that was once used to, to drive back the wild, you can see a figure clad in green armor. As from beneath, within the, gl the green energy pouring from beneath the ground, you can almost see a shadow move Moving, a serpentine figure beginning to make its way through and try to pierce the veil into creation. Can I touch this tapestry? <laughs> no, because that's where we're going to end oh! it. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? Fine. We'll add this one little moment. So we can each have your reaction to what you see. Uh, smiling Mountain, uh, seeing uh, the green armored figure. Uh, in uh, Actually, question. Strings, did you tell us what you saw uh, when you were I in weird... I don't think he did. I don't think I did, no. Well, we had a month between here and there. That's why I'm like... Oh, that's a good point. In love... that case, I probably definitely you're on would a boat have. Yeah. just no, exercising I... for Man, a month. Man, I probably wrote it into a song, and you guys were like, what was that last part? I'm like, did I not tell you about that? Oh, yeah. And then I, like, explained the whole thing. <laughs> go, go back to the ghost thing, because you talk about your horse all the time, and they want to hear about the ghost. <laughs> yeah, this is, like, the one song that's not about a horse. And you right. guys are like, wait, what the fuck? What the <laughs> hold fuck hold on. About? <laughs> uh... Okay, then, yeah, he's smiling mouth, and then we'll, uh, we'll kind of tightly... Uh, clasp his uh, bracer uh, and in in an oddly to himself a comforting way like uh, it's okay but not for himself but for the bracer because he's anthropomizing it or whatever for who? can't hear you uh, George for you're who? muted oh, oh, there you I'm go. not muted I was just talking quietly for no. who? The, for uh, the bracer because it's made of the veil the veil is inside of it uh, oh okay alright I guess we'll save strings for last. Yeah. <laughs> this lady killed you nine times. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mr. Malik? Or... Oh, Adger Malik's reaction is he just like, sort of like bites his lower lip and he just says, well, that was fucking weird. <laughs> And he just has the most puzzled expression on his face. Absolutely no comprehension of what any of it means. Yeah, Dirum. I mean, Dirum, sort of enthralled by it, is reaching out to try and interact with it. And strings. Just kind of look at this thing, and I uh, take a big, deep sigh, and uh, I consider which to pull off my back, my bow or my loot. Oh, pull off the pipe, please. I, I need a hit of that right now. Oh, I'm, I'm already, I'm, I'm lighting that up as I'm considering. <laughs> just like, what the fuck am I gonna do with this one? <laughs> three foot long pipe and just like ah oh, shit at which point the world around you begins to shift and you can see aspects traits of everywhere that you've been coming into being the volcano is suddenly underwater the inner walls of its rim are covered in huge statues that adorn the western cliffs depictions of a legion of heroic figures heroes of the sun and the moon and fate and elements casting down and killing or binding huge monsters what was a lake of lava around the caldera's central islet is now a forest of sunken kelp beds, crimson and orange. Wolf emanations, hundreds of them, look down upon you from the volcano's rim, and in the water above them, a shape like a monstrous kraken, but much vaster floats. Eight of the monster squid's tentacles drift and reach outward, but its two longer arms end not in leaf-shaped sucker pads, but in the heads of two serpent emanations, both of which stare intently down at you, waiting. And I go for the bow. And that's where we'll end it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to enjoy our show. Come back next week for the next part of our adventure. Meanwhile, if you're ready for a live experience, follow our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash RPG Blender. And if you missed our past live episodes or are interested in some RPG tutorials, find us on YouTube at The RPG Blender. If you want to stay up to date on our releases, you can join our new Discord. Check the description for a link. Don't have Discord? No worries. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at RPG Blender. Or subscribe on your podcast app of choice. 
Music is The Punk Rock Show by My Free Mickey. Copyright 2012, licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution License. Thank you again, and remember, there's gaming outside the Forgotten Realms. like some crazy anime music right now it's just like <laughs> i'm just trying to this take is care like of the these guys end credit sequence music has started I, early I'm, we're at the last moment in the air we don't know how they got there <laughs> <laughs> they're singing in latin now it's real scary it's like it's, fu it's funny because i saw this as a greek mythology and then beyblade joined and i'm like this is not a greek mythology anymore and now we're staunchly <laughs> <laughs> the beyblade changes the tone